Hi, it's Carrie. I just wanted to walk you real quick through the first little bit of my sketchbook. And the reason why I wanted to do this is to show you that anybody can draw. This I hadn't drawn at all since probably early high school days. And I got back into it because uh, my son came home from school to homeschool and I wanted to do a nature journal with him. And I hadn't drawn seriously for years and years. And pretty much the beginning, this whole beginning of this journal is crap. So just stick with me through the boring and we'll get into some of the better stuff after I had been drawing again for a while. So we'll just start here. This was a tree. It was at the library when we went on our first nature walk March 30th and it's not very awesome. Uh, I just kept trying. I, I hated what I was doing. I did not like this at all but I needed to do it for homeschool and I'm glad I stuck with it. This was our garden in 2011. This was a branch of a tree on a hike that we went on. Uh, green onions, a bird, deer tracks, it's all. It was, it was discouraging to me to draw like this, but like I said, I stuck with it just for the sake of nature journaling and spending time with my son. This is my first attempt at watercolors, which this is not the way to use watercolors. Neither is this, but I wanted to. I wanted to learn how to do it, and the only way I learn is the best way I learn is by doing. So even though I hated, hated how all these pages look, I hated them. I kept them in here just because it was what we were doing for the nature journal and for my son. So weed study, a weed seed, uh, some more leaves, an apple kind of cross section. So this is when we started getting into a little bit more of the cross section of the nature studies, a little bit more involved in them. So we cut an apple in half. <laughs> uh, colored pencil effort, poorly done. I tried to sketch this. Spider web, hated it, so I just put a picture in instead. Much better. Uh, contour drawing, hated, really bad watercolor. And then we started getting into a little bit more scientific part of the nature study. So this was a mushroom that was actually growing in our backyard. So we picked it off and we cut it and we did the cross sections, the dissections. We did a mushroom spore imprint, which was really cool. And measurements, this was when it started getting more fun. I started seeing a little bit more improvement in my art. And this was a Crocosmia flower. This was the seeds from that and the hardened shell around them. Some leaves that we just pencil scrubbed. And then I started taking it with me more. And this is actually a piece of graph paper that was taped over a horrible drawing that I hated a lot. So, and I hate this one too. But it was effort and it's improving and I just wanted to stick with it at this point. At this point, I wanted to get better. Um, a feather. And then after, this has been, see this is in December and I started this in March. So many months, 10 months later, I started reading some more books on drawing, watching some videos, learning how to do a little bit better with watercolor, and started doing nature study with just the nature that's in our house around us. So this was a couple days after Christmas. We had grilled cheese sandwiches for dinner that night and Halo Mega Blocks for fun. Still learning with watercolors, but and poorly done, but it started sketching in pen on these pages because I heard that that helps make you have to leave it as it is and be less of a perfectionist. This was a pumpkin study with um, details on the seeds and a cross section that was really cool. These little heart shaped seed sections was fun. Uh, this was a seven day grid. My This was in November, my art started getting a little bit better. And I did canning. This is like one thing I did every day that week. Running, Breaking Dawn movie, fire. 
drying books. Did those a lot. Serving at the pantry and Thanksgiving. This was still learning watercolor. It's still not how it should be. It's very blocky. It should be more flowy. But this was a leaf that fell off of the trees by our driveway, so I looked up what kind they were. This is actually the fruit of the tree with little seeds on the inside of cross-section. I hate these things. But it was interesting to draw and to cut them open. Um, here I'm learning how to mix my watercolors and what colors mixed with what makes a new color. Again, horrible with the watercolors there. A little bit smoother, but still not very good. And breakfast of just our indoor nature. That's, that's life. French toast on a grill. This was a... I tried to do a four square grid of one night. And this, again, using the pin forced me to just have to move quick and stick with what I did originally. So there's my son. There's the cutting board. The cast iron skillet with the hot fudge cake ice cream and our cat. And then this is a cup my son drew who at that time was nine and he didn't worry about if he liked it or not. He just drew because he loved to draw and he was a big encouragement to me. We were playing with watercolors with salt and alcohol drops. And I started taking my sketchbook with me everywhere. This was at a newsstand at the Starbucks near us. This was a Sloppy Joe night. This was at our co-op, still trying to learn how to use the watercolor pen. Uh, this was kind of messing with a little bit of the spray technique of watercolor and again trying to paint with watercolor poorly. And I'll end with this one for today. This was this was just a fun, this was a mistake up here. That's why I put that paper on there. But this was the glow bar out of our oven that burnt out the igniter. So my husband took it out and replaced it. And I thought it was really cool that this metal was kind of a rainbow metallic on there. So I thought I would paint it. So anyway, I just wanted to encourage you guys. If you love to draw, but you haven't for a long time, be okay with being a beginner. Be okay with crap for a while. It's, it's what it is. And if you can push through what you hate, and I think what I hated the most was that what I saw on the paper was not what I was seeing in my head. And it was really frustrating to not be physically able to make this the beautiful layout that I wanted it to be. But stick with it. Months and months stick with it. And eventually you'll get to the point where you don't quite hate them as much. And maybe even start to improve. So anyway, I hope that helps. I'll see you guys next time.